Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Manor Lords to a second playthrough. Now I loved this game so much that it just has to look in once more. This time though we are going to play on a different map and of course also we are going to raise the difficulty. So still we only have one um, game mode available so rise to prosperity um, and once again we need to decide our character last time I was with uh, this guy here this time uh, he's just laughing at me with a nice scar and the beard of course looking all nice and dandy let's also have um, some nice banner there again the raven why not let's go with a black raven or white raven on black color this sounds oh this looks actually pretty cool perfect i'm happy with that um and then we have the difficulty settings right so last time we played with totally balanced settings this time though we are going to go with the starting supplies to zero so we really have nothing except two timber with what we have to start uh the approval rating is going to be um, demanding right so it would be balanced or tolerant um, but demanding is the highest one that we can go for here um, and then we have the weather events also harsh weather difficult weather conditions of hard frost so lots of fire log consumption and stuff like that uh, i'm excited for this one a second playthrough this time we of course know the mechanics of it better enjoy go 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 Alrighty, and here we are once more. Um, the one thing that I can notice right away is we are pretty high up there. Last time we played on a small hill. This time we are having a bit more flat terrain, which is awesome. Mm, bigger city we can build with that. And look at that, how steep it's going down here. This is just looking really cute, to be honest. Very, very beautiful landscape. Just here, let's just pretend this is the Alps. And we're, of course, building a village right in front of the beautiful Alps. And yeah, nice, nice location. I'm very happy with with what we can see here of course we get once again our establishing a foothold quest so construct a granary a logging camp for it hut and storehouse would be our first uh, missions here um, there is a fire at the heart of every settlement a bastion of safety warmth and light against the darkness of the world and we will have to flame that darkness uh, we are here we still have i think the same population though five peasant families so it's really just uh, those poor salts here right we're starting out with that um, and we should also be here. Do we look different? No, we are looking the same with our extremely sexy coach. And also one thing that I can notice right away is my population is looking... My servants are looking more colorful this time. No idea. That's a nice random feature. All right, we need to go ahead. As we can see, we only have two timber. We don't even have food, right? So it might be... It might get hungry there in the beginning. A logging camp is the first thing we should uh, look out for. We have some forest area here. By the way, what do we have on the map other than that? I think... Is this... Ah, yes, very good. We have two wild animals, berries, iron deposit. There is the trader out here. We are in the... Reichenfurt uh, region this time, so also a different region on the on the the general map, um, and yeah, well, a nice beautiful plateau that we have there. Let's go ahead with the first building right away. It's going to take a while anyway for construction. I'm just going to have this one right here by the forest area, and with that, my people can hopefully start building. And finally, someone is picking up the ox. Getting the logs over now to the location. Where are you going, by the way? Going somewhere. <laughs> he's just going out to the forest there. No idea what he's doing. I mean, I could imagine. Either nature's call or he's running away. Or he's just going to observe the wolves. Yeah, it's going to take a while for this one here to build up. As always, the logs have arrived first ones and my builders start building. And I still can watch this for hours. How beautiful every single building is being, you know, built up from the ground. This doesn't look particularly stable. But of course, there's still something coming. And it seems like we don't even need to destroy any beautiful trees there. Uh, that's going to be a lot of space here. While the logging camp is under construction, we can also start with the first roads then. So here's the main road, right? This is where the traders are going to be. And we can then go ahead and have the first the first street really going then right to my to my city, like so, making the connection, and then also connecting right away my logging camp as the first road. Um and then probably here also another road that goes then into this direction. Now the logging camp has all the resources and is going to be finished shortly. 
we are just going to enjoy the beautiful views. And yeah, we also have the first hungry people. They're not going to starve right away. But of course, they do need something like Jacob here. He does. He definitely needs some food. We are at zero, right? Uh, it's March, so berries should be out there. We could either go with berries or we go with a hunter. The hunters are a bit closer there, I think. So this might be a safer bet. But of course, we still need to finish this one here first. There it is. Construction has finished. Let's assign three people to that right away to really jumpstart our timber production. We'll have it right beside us, chopping down the trees. And we already have some three timbers in store. Let's go ahead and get us the next one, and that is the hunter this time. So we have some game close by, so I would really like to, to get us the... To get us some some hunting out there, um, some meat that we need. Let's also make this road around the the logging camp there, um, and then we're going ahead with a hunter camp right here. And since the hunting camp is right beside the logging camp, getting logs over there is rather easy and quickly done so. Um, even though the hunting camp does not have construction cost like the forager hut, right? So the forager hut would cost me two timber then. Probably will also need to have it then somewhere in this in this area. So let's prolong the road there a bit. And this one is also finished now. Let's assign two people to that right away and let them hunt right in this, in this hunting ground over there. So we get some meat in finally. Still going to take a while though before the first meat comes in. Hunger will stay for the duration, though. Let's also check it out there real quick. Freeline, he's hungry already, and he's go he's already going out there. Determined, hopefully, to get him some food into this very dark forest, really. And he already has a target, I guess. And he already found himself something and is crafting and waiting now for the food to be ready. And then we should have the first meeting. Oh, and the other one was also successful, already getting the game over. And there you go, we already have three meat now in store, so for now I hope we can fill the bellies. Even though of course, before there's more coming in that we can really use for bigger population, it's still going to take a while. Now we got six timber by now, we still have some buildings here that we should go for. The forager hut would be uh, one of them, it's actually in the mission, build a forager hut, right? Because we ha we started with the hunting camp, it's just closer, so for now we can go for the... The storehouse there as well um, that I would like to have in this area. Oh, wait a second. No, actually, let's go ahead with the forager hut there as well. It makes sense to have both of them ready right away because um, we, ha we are in March, right? So we still have half a year time now to harvest all the berries here because then they stop regrowing. So let's go ahead and get us the, the forager hut then right next to the hunter. This is consuming then a bit of timber. And since we have still more timber, and I think the storehouse wasn't that expensive. No, it's two for each, right? So the granary and the storehouse, we need both of them. I can build them as well. Let's erase priority for forager hut. So this is being finished first. And about these two things here, you cannot relocate the storehouse or the granary. So we need to be careful where we really want to place them. Um, where we basically will probably have some industry then as well. So right here in this area sounds about right to me. So let's go ahead and start with go ahead with the, the storehouse, right? And then we are also having a, a granary here as well. So those are going to, to supply then the village with food and with resources. And I can safely go ahead and continue here with this road. Hopefully, somehow. There you go. So that we have a nice tiny area then here probably for... Yeah, I don't know. We could move the logging camp. We could also build something else. The well would uh, fit in here just nicely. Or also the hitching post, I think. Yes, we could also have the hitching post over there then. Makes sense to me. Very good. So, construction of the starts. We have two people here and two people here assigned. So we still have only one person right now that is doing those jobs. It's fine though. I mean... Technically, let's let's reduce the amount of workers here in the logging camp so that two people construct. As we are under no pressure for a lot of timber right now.
There's always time is of the essence though, right? We don't need that much timber yet. We need to have some active constructions all the time um, before winter. So definitely some houses finished and also firewood production up and running. And of course, right now we need to prepare everything for the first families to move over. And the first timber is at the construction site and we can start on the forager hut. After a while, the rain starts in. We have the floor at least finished and the foundation. So as you can see, the forager hut takes quite some time to finish. And it's just a good idea to have the hunting camp first, because there's already so much meat now flooding in. And also pelts that we're going to need then for clothing as well. Ah, and the second person helps out now. I think the other buildings have now all the resources, yes. And yes, so they can then also start on these here immediately afterwards. That also means we don't really need the ox right now, so I might move the hitching post now over here. Just makes sense to me. There you go. And there it is, the forager hut finished as well. We could assign someone to that, but I'm not doing that yet. We don't need it. Um, even though, oh yes, we can actually do this. We should do this for the berries. Sorry, that is a little brain fart on my side. <laughs> But now we are harvesting those berries as well. So with that, we already have the two types of food in, meat and berries. Meanwhile, construction of my storehouse has begun. Three people are helping out. Why three? Who is... A woodcutter is helping out. Okay, we have four timber. So he reckons that he doesn't need to chop down any more timber for now. And he just helps with that. Storehouse, ready for action. I'm not going to assign anyone to that yet. And then also the granary. I'm sorry, actually I'm moving the granary over here because we just have the food production buildings on, on that side right now. And after a bit of time the granary is also finished and we have all the objectives of the first mission completed. And we can start right away with the humble beginnings. Your supplies are dry and secure, and the first stage of work is done. The stories your people tell around the fire are of the many dangers in the world, from beasts to blights, strange tales about foxes who go on pilgrimage or small creatures who spin gold from sunset to sunrise. They tell these stories to put common names to their fears. Soon, they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children to the settlement. Now that they can take shelter in proper homes for your lands to prosper and grow, you'll need not only workers, but families. For this, we also need to build a well before we can start with the families to move in. So let's go ahead and get us this well out there, uh, just the proper location. Once again, we have the water vein, right? So we need to build it right along the water. Um, and of course, we could have it here. This looks central to me, right? Having that well, because around it, we're going to have then the first houses as well. What is that? We still have some two supplies in here. They're just lying around, it seems, on the ground there. So this is where I would like to have the well then. Let's have a another road then right next to this one that goes over to my industry zone or ah let's just let's just wait on that. Let's build the well first.
There you go. And water is finally available now as well. We got five timber. That means that we can, yeah, we can go ahead and build us two homes at least. So let's just check it out where we have them. Burgage plot, there it is. Um, and we could have the burgage plot then right here now. And yeah, for the first houses to move in, probably makes sense to have them right here in the in the center. Uh, two houses is what we can afford right now. Let's also try to squeeze some gardens in then. And it would look like that here. First homes that we can have. And we could even probably have more. Up to this area there, most likely. And have three proper homes for my people right away. Six timber, that would cost me. And here is the dirt, the ground, where my first families will move in and live a prosperous life, hopefully. And construction of the first already begins, while the other ones receive still the building materials. Of course, as a lord, we should also just have a quick look what's going on here. Please don't make my shoes dirty. They're too valuable for this life. And all I can see here right now, of course, are families. Secondary taxpayers. We really should hurry up with the construction. Right now our approval rating is 23% only. Homelessness is negative 16, adding a lot of penalties to that. So if this is too low, people will... Uh, it could cause a rebellion, right, if it drops to zero, but they could also just flee the village and be gone from this world. Right now we still have five, so they're still believing in me, but not for long anymore, I think. Food at least is fine, so 13 berries and 32 meat we have. And a bit more log again, so beside those three, we could then already start with the next burgage plot. Um, yeah, probably, probably also somewhere here in the center then, right? One more. Like this. And there you go, the first home is being finished. And with that, the first people also move in now. And they have a beautiful garden here with a tree right in. Right in free. Did the tree spawn? I have no idea now. It does look like it spawned, but it is, right? And our first three houses are finished. The first people move in, the first women join my village. Hello there, already getting water for their house. And the fourth building is now under construction as well. Quite a lot of people help out, as food is not a priority right now. And also we have five timber, that means we can just continue with the next house. We still need one more burgage after this, one more one more um, house, right? So we could have this one here, of course, um, even though... I think it's fine to have it there for now. It's not... Yeah, this is not going to be permanent. Um, I do have a bit more space over here then that I can use as well. And we do, of course, have also some more space than just here for houses. One of these guys here. This is looking good. Go ahead and have the next one as well. Seems like a pretty dark summer, if you ask me, in these regions. Doesn't seem to be that warm. We have July right now, and it's all foggy and rainy. And yeah, there we have the fifth one. Settlement level has been increased. Reichenfurt, we're actually called here, small village. And new development, a new message. As you walk the perimeter, you're surveying your village with 
pride. A woman walks past you. She spent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking and she tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. If only there was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing and firewood, they could be happier and have more time for other work. And we got quite a lot of time for that and as we know this is the longest quest of them all which is probably going to stay now for the rest of the game. Um, getting a level 2 burgage plot out of that. Actually three of them. So we do need two types of food for that. Uh, we do need two types of clothing for that. One entertainment and one faith. So that also means we do need to have alcohol um, to finish this quest. And yeah, clothes. So two of them, not only leather. But we have five wood. What I would like to do with that five wood is rather simple. We have the, the food, right? What we don't have yet is firewood. And... Yeah, it's already July, so winter is upon us at some point, and that means we do need to chop down some trees for firewood. Now, we do have already a lumber camp for uh, this region. I don't want to overdo it, right? So we're going to have the other, the, uh, the the woodcutter here in this area for now, for this forest. So we have then this forest and this forest being chopped down, and we could also work this forest there if we want to. Once again, I gotta say how beautiful the surrounding is, really. We're on this higher plateau there. This would be a very nice area to defend, right? We have a bit more timber still, so even after building the lodge. Um, I'm, wa I'm waiting for six timber there. Uh, we can actually build it already. I would like to use this plot here now. Right. Or, oh my goodness, we could uh, squeeze in four houses here, all with a garden. That would cost me eight timber though. So that's a very good location for it. That I'm, I definitely want to use like that. So let's just use this area for now. Hmm, perhaps we can only use one house here. Doesn't look like it. This would actually net us two houses. What a strange construction, but it's possible. And the woodcutter has been finished. Let's assign a person to that right away or a family and also tell them that they can chop or go crazy in this little forest area over there. Very nice as the next uh, neighborhood is being raised. Uh, we also have the first firewood in stock. So seven of that now and we can safely prepare for the first winter. Now, another message that I got was uh, that the hunting camp is full, and yes, it is full almost. That means that it will stop producing once it reaches its cap, um, which is pretty bad, right? So we should probably now man also one of the granaries because they then get the resources over and stock it in larger quantities, up to 500, that we can squeeze into this granary here alone. And since we have now all these new homes, we also have more families, of course, now. 18 total population right now. And that means five assigned families and one unassigned that I can also go crazy on right now. Oh yeah, and we do have eight timber. Let's go ahead and also finally start construction of this really massive neighborhood then that we can have. With four families moving in and all of them get their own plot there as well. Perfect. While the new neighborhood is under construction, over here then we can have a beautiful big church, I think about that. Something like that with that beautiful view over there into the distance. It's just what the demo allowed me to do. We are having a walk around in our young city. I could do this for hours, honestly I, I did it. And we are just walking around here enjoying the scenery. As we are also coming close now to the end of summer. This is going to mark another very important step for our village. We are also moving past here right now, close to the, or actually to the new neighborhood, where lots of new houses will pop up soon. Right, so there's already the timber getting constructed over there. Unfortunately, these people over there will lose a nice view, but it was bound to happen anyway. Their real estate value at least is going up. And while we walk around enjoying the view, of course we should not be idle planning wise we have planning to do um food wise we are at 40 meat and 50 berries with the berries that's actually pretty good right but it is september that means the harvest of berries will soon be over uh, we still have 74 berries in stock so let's go ahead and assign a second person we can do this 
and both of them will now harvest the rest of the berries that we have here during autumn so i think it is then berries start disappearing in autumn at starting at september but it's going to be extreme then in november when all the berries vanish and in december everything is gone right so it now starts to deteriorate already um so we should just harvest as much as possible while we'll still have time for that of course also enjoying some warm weather there still and that you have in september they're doing this perfect um the hunter can stay at one for now right hunting we can do during winter as well and we have plenty of game there uh, plenty of stuff that we can really uh, slaughter for meat the forager hut so that's that uh timber wise uh we have two people yet and yeah that's fine too the storehouse remains empty as we don't really need a person there in the beginning the granary is more important so that we can store more stuff in it that also is then a bit more durable lasts a bit longer and hopefully lasts us through the first winter while we watch these new buildings coming up another thing is we are now f at 48 percent approval again so it's not as bad as it was before people will not um rebel against me and they will not flee um they're still in the past year negative two for the homelessness so there's still a bit of a penalty here i think because of the past but that's it then, right? 48% of course, and we can continue to increase this then as we continue. Right now, I want to primarily increase my population, even though we should be careful about that, of course, because we're at the beginning of winter soon. And of course, all these people need some food in their bellies. We're at 100 though, so it should be fine. Fuel-wise, I'm not entirely sure, but fuel we can always also produce during, uh, during winter. There it is, the, the woodcutter. So Lawrence is doing a good job there getting everything done and yeah the second house is now under construction while the other ones are getting their resources there's more timber coming over quite a lot of people join in don't they have anything else to do and as we can also see on the forest yep autumn is upon us there's a beautiful red forest over there. It is October. We should really hurry up with that construction here before winter. Uh, it's getting wet and cold out there and foggy. And probably a headless horseman you can see riding around here somewhere now. As we're finishing now hopefully then soon the last one we do have some more families in again that means i can speed up some chopping down i mean we already have two people in there is it perhaps that we do need to reassign the work area might be might be so in here between the game we can definitely chop down some more forests still i can move this one right yes i can relocate the logging camp thank the gods because i would like to move it then into this area at some point uh hunting is fine um and also my woodcutter 41, let's assign a second person to this one now as I think we're going to need it. And my berries, 51, still working. Let's assign a third person to that to also speed it up for October and November now to get the maximum, in, even though I think we're good already. It's also time to assign someone to the storehouse because, for example, the woodcutter lodge is now full. That means it's no longer producing anything until we do have some resources in. Actually, some women help out there as well, getting things to the storehouse. I think they might then even be of the same family, right? So this is Toman now, getting his resources over. And Kungut is helping with that, but she's unassigned. But she's just helping out because she's got the time for it. We got some pelts, some firewood and some timber now at the local storehouse. since we have some timber again we can also happily continue growing our village i think this plot here is perfect for it to at least get another house with a a garden out there and then we can continue with the road in here now we are probably going to destroy this little forest here in the center but what can you do about it it's just in the way of our village there really we also still have more room here and winter is coming october is coming to an end now soon It is November and the berries are now really going down to 7, so it's going to be depleted then uh, soon now. Um, we do have in the granary around 84 berries now sitting around, so 137 food should be fine then, right? And what we can do here once the berries are really going to zero now, 
with the six, we can then also reassign those people. And there it is at zero. No more berries for now. And with that, we have a bit of workforce again that we can now use on other buildings. For example, since we have 10 timber on construction. And yeah, construction, we have a lot to do. Look at that. We could squeeze in five homes into this area here. So where we have the main road, right? And this one goes then right to... Uh, from the main road connected more or less with my other village there. And yeah, I think I would like to do this. Uh, some trees will unfortunately have to pass. But of course, these houses also have trees in their gardens that are growing again. So we should be fine that this whole village is looking more also green at some point, right? Even though at the moment nothing really looks green. As you can see, it's late November now. And you can really see this in the landscape. I love it. Uh, as everything is getting muddy and brown. And winter is coming. Might also be time again to just have a quick look around. As is tradition with every season. And just see what my people are up to. Perhaps also motivating them a bit. Using my boots. And then we also get to the new district that is popping up here now as well and as the first year is coming to an end it's december snow is falling i hope everyone is prepared we do have 109 firewood 121 food berries is still plenty of even though i can see that my meat is now going down so i'm going to assign a second person of course now to the hunting camp um since we also have these families, I should also work on a second hunting camp, right? Let's just have a look. We are using this area there right now, I hope. Right, so this should be my, my, my hunting area for hunting camp number one. And I'm going to build a second hunting camp now as well. That is then working uh, over there for these guys there, for these deer. And we can probably just have it somewhere over there then. A bit further outside, I would like to have it. Where we have then the construction of the next one. This fortunately does not cost me any timber, right? And it is finished already. We have six unassigned families right now. Let's assign someone to this. And also assign it to this forest there. Specifically to so this these hunting grounds there. As we creep deeper and deeper into winter... The snow is starting to appear now, not only falling, but also everything is being covered. Beautiful white, beautiful frost, deadly, but beautiful. And also the last leaves are falling down. And in all honesty, this is probably just one of the most beautiful uh, seasons in this game. Let's have a look as the last house is being finished right over here. And more people can move in. Now look at that. It's also just really cool how the terrain is going uh, into the calculations of the weather. So we up here on the hill, we can have a nice view in the distance, right? But look at that down there, it's getting really foggy and you can't see anything anymore. Isn't that amazing? I think this is the first game ever that I see that is doing this, calculating the elevation into the weather system. So you have the foggy valleys and of course the more clearer hills up there. Really, really beautiful. And also the last house is being wrapped up right now. There you go. And more people can move in. Um, also what we can see, the hunters continue their work even during winter. Very good to see. And this is going to lead to a steady influx of food. Right now, 27 meat. So this is actually primary, primarily being consumed right now. Berries, we still have 88. Now, in preparation for my next uh, production, which is, of course, wheat and flax, or, well, actually not flax, I think we don't need that for this playthrough, but we definitely will need some farming, and I do have a problem. <laughs> um, I think that's because of the higher difficulty. We barely have any fertility on this map, so for barley, there is a, good, a bit of a fertility here, right, so this is yellow, um, also a bit of here, 
and there is a good fertility in this. However, this is, I'm totally determined to use, this is my manor space. So I'm not going to add the barley f uh, fields over there, but rather here. And for Emmer, we only really have this area available there to us, which is green. So that's a good thing, right? So this whole area we can use for, for the Emmer then as well. Um, but that's it, right? So a bit further over there, perhaps, perhaps we can have, hmm, we can mix it up with the flax. Having a farming area here would be possible as well. Difficult decision, because there's really not that much fertility. And I also just realized for the farm we do need tool, but on the starting position with no resources, of course we don't even have a tool. So last time we had a tool available, this time we don't. So I will need to provide this one as well. We're low on supplies for food and fuel. I don't see that really. We have plenty of that, at least in my opinion. So we do need to start on the iron production before we can start on the farming. All right, interesting twist. twist. No problem though, hopefully. Then we just go for the iron one. It's still December though. But we have the workforce and we do have the timber. So let's go ahead. Have this main road here continue. Right. And over here. So this is where we have our iron deposit. The only iron deposit on this, on this territory that we have available. And here we can start ahead and go with the first mining pit. That we can have right on top of it. Let's get to work. Now another thing, since we're using this forest here quite heavily and it's probably going to stay like that, so we have the logging camp for for this area, right? We have the woodcutter also for yeah for this area for now, right? What we still need here, uh, if we don't want to chop down everything, is a forester hut. So since we do have the workforce for that, I think it's a good opportunity to do this now. Forester plants new trees. It's a very small building, so we can just easily squeeze it in here somewhere. Um, yeah, here in this corner there. There you go. And you're building also another person that will need to work on that. Mining pit is already finished. That was quick. I think there was only really one timber that was needed and that's it. And since we have nine people, let's assign two people to that and start cutting down, chopping down, yeah, iron ore. And of course, they're already on their way. It might be freezingly cold. The earth is probably pretty hard. And yet they're still doing their, their duty. And there we have it. The first iron ore in store. And there we also have it. The forester hut coming along. Fantastic. This is looking cute. This building here with that roof. Going all the way down there to the ground. Look how many people are able to help now with seven unassigned families. There it is. We can assign Let's one go, person people. to this one here. And we can also assign them the work area. And of course we're going to try and make this one as big as possible. To say please reforest this whole area here. With trees. Because we are chopping them down obviously. I'm also moving my woodcutter up there a bit so we have this area available. I will also need to assign a second person to the storehouse. They are collecting the resources from my production buildings. And since the mining pit is a bit further away now, it's going to take a while for the iron ore to always get up there to the storehouse. I mean, it's durable, of course. And it's, since it's the only deposit that we have on this map, it's the only way to go for. It's still going to take a bit of time. I'm just really glad I did not build my village in a valley like here, because this is how it's looking all winter. Total fog, total darkness, really. I mean, you can build down here, right? This is territory. You can totally build down here. It's just going to be very difficult in, in, in winter. I'd rather stay up here. And there is already the transportation from my storehouse with a cart. Getting some six iron ore. How much can you actually carry? Yeah, all six of that. Very good. Getting it to the, the local storehouse up there. And there's more people than just those two helping out right now. I think everybody that is unassigned is just helping out if he's got the time. I mean, we will not need that much iron ore. 
Speaking about the iron ore, and since it's still winter and we have timber and we don't need to focus more manpower on, for example, berry bushes yet, um, we can go ahead with the next production that is the bloomery. This one construct or this one converts iron ore into iron slabs that we're going to need then for our smithy. And this is why I wanted to have this location here available because I definitely don't want to have the bloomery too close to the village there somewhere. Right, so I'm going to squeeze it in here. And right across it, we do have then the smithy working. And also, another cool thing is they're both right next to the storehouse. So it makes it e extremely easy or it just reduces the, the transportation times a lot. And let's have this one right behind it. Yeah, and village life is still active in winter as well. As we can see, lots of things are being done. Dead animals are being carried around, for example. Construction continues. I mean, we have so many people right now. That this should be happening rather quickly. The bloomery. However, we're not having that many unsigned families anymore. So, with those two buildings here, we're probably going to need more families than once more. There you go, bloomery finished. Now they can work on the smithy, on the blacksmith. Perfect, both of them are finished and with that we have our iron industry. Let's assign a person to the bloomery, and let's assign a person to the blacksmith. And this one will now produce us tools and tools we're going to need for quite a few things for our house expansions. We're also going to need it for the farms. And yeah, basically tools are extremely vital for mid game. And with that, we have laid out a good foundation. Meanwhile, we can go ahead with the next expansion. So the burgage plots, let's have the next ones then here in this, in this area there. Just see that we do this, I mean, that would be interesting. All right, the game wants me to actually build such a huge garden here for one of them. That's just crazy. I'm not doing that. This would be interesting. And that would require 14 timber, but it would be possible, even though I don't know about this. <laughs> Let's just not do this. Let's have it here for now. And this should still add, yep, add plots to it. And we have this area then available as well to us. All right, and here, this road merges then once more with the main road. And as you can see also, those guys here have now some iron ore in it. And they can finally start working on ingots. On this totally frozen, it looks like frozen furnaces to me. In the sun at least, but I think it's just the color white that is being used here. And I think we already have a finished product getting over here to the smithy. And also one tool is in already. This guy here has also started working. And just because we're at the end of January now almost, let's just have a quick stroll once more, enjoying the scenery. Also there in the distance, of course. Yeah, and my hiking boots will just get me anywhere really where I want me to go. I should definitely slow it down a bit there on the iron ore. So let's only have one person there because we already have 31 iron ore. We got three iron slabs and also the second tool is now coming in perfect from the smithy right over there. Now, what I don't know is do we consume firewood for the smithy it would make sense right i think we do doesn't say that really uses iron slabs and fuel to craft tools all right answer uh, question answered so firewood is being of course consumed with the smithy we should be careful with that the bloomery is not doing that it should however realistically speaking should do the same thing it's not but it's fine of course I don't mind this one bit. We got three people working in the woodcutter lodge and we're at 70 fuel. So that is not totally ideal, right? I think a second woodcutter lodge will be needed soon. I mean, we are also getting close now to February and winter is where firewood is used the most. 
construction of my new district has also started. And the first houses are coming along as well. Also, once again, I just want to point out all these details in this game as the road is getting broader when there's houses next to it. What a lovely detail overall. It's also time to move the logging camp just a bit away from the center. Why? Because, yeah, well, you're going to see this not now, but later on. Let's just move it over there for now, though. Right, it's going to take a bit of time there, but once it's over there, it should be fine. It still has access to this whole forest area there. Um, the only thing I need to adjust, though, is the forester hut that is going to reforest this area in the future. And probably also my, my woodcutter lodge that we have is also going to chop down trees here. It's going to get quite busy in this area. I hope this works, actually. I haven't tried it yet because we got the hunter now here on our Highlands Plateau, as I like to call it. I mean, look at the location that we have. Isn't this lovely? We have all this uh, beautiful view all around the village itself. Uh, deep down here, we have dark, dark valleys. There's still a bit of fog from the winter. There's some rivers here as well that I haven't seen yet. Very interesting. And overall, yeah, we're just leading a happy life. Hard and harsh and full of dangers, but also a beautiful life it is. Now we continue here right now. Um, the logging camp is being moved a bit further away from the, the city or the village itself, right? Over here. Um, that means we are not producing any timber right now. Um, and we are also in the process of finishing up the last brokerages here. What we do have now is a lot of tools and my first act for this new year here is that we finally add some vegetable gardens to my people. Um, in that case here, this is the only thing we can afford right now. The chicken coop and the goat chat cost me each 25 wealth. So 25 our original wealth as it's called. We can only acquire this with a trading post that we don't have yet. So the vegetable garden it is, construction has started and this one will now help us build up a a more steady production. Um, this one I, I want to keep empty, to be honest, because it probably would destroy the tree, and I certainly don't want this tree to be destroyed, so we're not doing this. I'm going to assign um, these vegetable gardens here, right? So these ones. We have the tools for that. It's going to be quite a few of them, really. There you go. So five, uh, six vegetable gardens, actually, that are now producing food for us as well. Bear in mind, though, it's going to take a while, right? before this one, these fields here are going to, to give us some food. But it's definitely going to help us out then. Even though food is not a major problem at the moment. This last building is also now in uh, close to completion. I think we're still waiting on the, the logging camp there, yes. So as we can see, the workers are on their way. Also one more timber needs to be brought over here from the worker camp and then that's that. And there it is finished. Let's assign three people to that again right away. Uh, it took me longer than expected, so we are a bit low on timber now. And I really want to get a bit more of that in. Yeah, this is our industry zone, as we can see. That is growing now here at the edge of the, the village. I was talking about a trade post that would probably be the, the next logical choice so we can build up some wealth. But I think, I think for now, ooh, that's four timber. We cannot really afford it, even though it's not that expensive. Probably would like to have it then somewhere over here. I can continue, however, with assigning a few more vegetable gardens. So, also here. Right, since we have the tools. And then... Hmm, yeah, those guys here. For sure. Even though, of course, we should not use all of these here. Because there's also... There, sh there should also be room for chickens and goats and stuff like that. And also, to be honest, I would like to have some of them having no field or plot being used, but just have an outhouse standing there with a bit of a garden shed and that's it. And yeah, we actually dropped with the food. We're at 78 now only. All the meat is gone. What's the case here? What's the cause of this? Where's my hunter? There's my hunter. Let's assign a second person to that. Wild animals we have plenty of. They're not hunting any game there, it seems. Going somewhere. There is game though, right? Yes, there is gaming in this, in this forest. And my second hunting camp. It's actually two people here. They're only procrastinating, so they're waiting. They're not really working. Why is that the case? There's also 21 wild animals in this area. Somewhere. There they are. So they should, they should definitely go out there and hunt. 
now they're doing it again okay perhaps it was because of february because they don't they don't really work there could be could be no idea Now it is time for that farm, that's why I moved the logging camp over there as well, um, or it's one of the reasons. And let's go ahead and have the farm. Now for the farm, as I said, we have a bit of a problem there, right? So emmer is perfect, that's wheat, so that's the, the grain, that's bread that we can make out of that. That's very good, good fertility overall. Uh, for flax, it's not that great, but we don't need that much flax, if at all. For barley, however, it is catastrophic. This is red, we do have a bit of uh, yellow over here, and we do have yellow and green over there. Now, the manor house was planned for this area there, so we should still be able to use this one for barley, and we don't need that much barley, right? It's really not that important. Um, we make a bit of alcohol out of that for entertainment purposes. We don't need as much uh, space as, for example, that we have also for the for the MR. So let's go ahead and have our farm then right over there at the edge of town, really. Further out there, right? And behind it, we're going to have then some fields and then it's transitioning into forest area again. And we just need to make sure that we're also not touching those wild animals here because we definitely don't want to, to scare them away or something like that. That would be... Yeah, catastrophic to say the least. It's March. Um, let's also check it out. 128 berries. They have regrown. This makes the forager hut active again. So let's assign three people. Let's assign two people to that. That will be enough um, to families. To this one here, they can start working now as well. Wait a second, I'm not doing this yet with the farm. There is the hunting camp and the forager hut. We both don't need them here anymore. Let's move the forager hut. Let's move it a bit further over there. Let's make a road here also. I think there is a road already, yep. And have the forager hut and the, the hunter, because the hunter is working over there. The hunter can actually move further up here into my farming district, right? This is entirely possible. And the forager hut, I'm going to move further over here, closer to the berries, which is fine. It's it's having a shorter distance than to, to collect the berries. And the transporter from the granaries is going to get in the granaries here, right? So it's not that far away, really, from my from my forager hut. So this is this is completely fine. Let's move it a bit further over here. Far further away. There you go. Good location right here by the street. And since we have a bit of room here, I would also like to add some more burgage plots then as well. Do we have a road there? Yes, we do. Just so that I can squeeze in some two more houses then here as well. There you go. And this is then the forager hut. And then we have the berries over there. Let's make sure that we don't destroy them though. Very important. So now I can make a proper road out here, right? That goes all the way up here, probably. And then down here again. We could also make it even more curved. Like... Like so. That's looking good. Let's build it that we have this one and now we have of course this area still available then for our farming area to the whole emma site for example and this here can still be city ground more or less also look how the vegetable guards are doing crop is already growing vegetables are growing and the wifeys are working on the fields so keeping them busy there a bit There it is, also our forager hut out here in the wild, in the wilderness. Let's assign some two people to that. We do have the workforce and food is really going down right now, right? So 36 only. Let's assign them right to this and they should do their jobs quickly. It's also time to finally add the farm. There you go, right out here at the city end. And then we got this area here for the emmer, right? And flax potentially. And this one here for barley. So this should work out just fine. For both directions as we can see so yellow is still going to be fine for us red probably not um red probably means there's nothing growing at all but we'll just see that i am I'm eager to find it out really um there's the construction so we still have this one here for city for city ground right and this is going to be a nice marketplace most likely yeah by now it's uh, spring uh, april so the trees and the forests are back to full green and what i can see still is that there's not a lot of signs here that we have an over cutting down of trees right so the woodcutters and the, the lumberjacks are working here but it's looking good lots of trees are also regrowing here so this is of course our forester hut doing the job here 
So that seems to be about right for now. Also down here in the valley there was a lot of fog, but now finally we can see the river also. Unfortunately we don't have a river close to my village. That will of course also be a lovely sight indeed. While the farm is under construction, we also need to lay out fields. There you go. So for Emma, for example, we do have then this whole side here. And let's just go ahead and make us one big field for that whole side. It probably goes all the way up here. Could this work then? Yeah, I think this could work nicely. Um, we could even make it a bit bigger if I want to up here. Something like that. Looks about right. Perfect. Field number one. And here we can now decide what we want to have. So Emma, we have 88%. Uh, flax is 61%. So for uh, this year, oh, let's actually rotate it once again. So we are going to have Emma for this year. Even though this year, there's not going to be any harvest, right? So let's uh, go with uh, two times Emma here and then flax. And we'll just see what happens then. And on that side here, we can then have the fields for the barley as well. So that would be barley that we have. And yeah, we are probably going to start here with the... The red more or less but primarily yellow space and then we could have it like so this is not looking so bad i mean it's a field after all we could also have it like so and then also probably a smaller one just behind here even of course workforce is required for all of this And also here, let's decide it. So Emmer is still the best option that we have right now. Um, we don't need to rotate it. And I think really that rotation increases the fertility in this game at the moment. Crop rotation triggers after a fully harvest to activate and the first day of spring. Oh, it can bring back lost fertility. So, so after all, actually, it is counting that, right? So we could say Emmer, then we leave it fallow, and then we go with Emmer again, for example, on this on this tiny field here. I definitely want to have some flax. We could also go with uh, fallow, and then flax, and then Emmer again. Now, bear in mind, the last time that I did some Emmer harvest, there was just way too much of it. <laughs> so we'll just see how this one goes. Um, and here I can go then with har uh, barley, definitely. Then we keep it fallow, and then I'm going with Emmer. Right, so that I have, or we could actually go with two times barley. Let's do this because I have plenty of ammo already. But of course, first we need to finish this field or this farm here. Still going to take a while. Now, also, I do have finally some timber left over for a trade post. Let's go ahead and have it right here beside the main road so that any kind of trader doesn't need to, to waste so much time. I think we actually need to build it here so when a trader passes by, he can purchase it right away. But then again, I have no clear indication of that. Uh, let's have it... Hmm, we do need two of them, right? We do need the livestock trader and we do need the trading post. I could have them on either side of the of the road then. Yeah, this, this makes sense. So let's have the trading post here. And then we have later on the livestock trader like this on the other side. Going to take a while because of course... The farm already takes a lot of time. And as we can see, lots of people are on the construction site here. This is one of the, the major buildings that you can have in this game right now. And of course, constructing it will take time. Though I think it is looking really, really idyllic here. Absolutely. And I also love that fields just naturally let stuff grow around them, right? So like bushes and then even some smaller trees and then also some bigger trees again. Lovely. Ah, very good. At least we got the roof of the side house. So this is only the, the storage house. But we're also going to thresh the grain then. The main building is still not even a foundation yet. Also, thanks to the elevation, the, these farmers here will have a nice view over the city. Really lovely. You have, uh, since we are a bit higher here, we can see over the city there as well. And nope, it's not winter. It's May and even now in the valley it's foggy. Down there when it's raining. So I really wonder what happens when you build in there. Do you then see that much fog all year? Because this would be really hard to build then. 
Ah, finally also construction has started of the main building. So many workers. I would also like to add priorities to the field. So the highest priority takes the field with the emmer and the flax. The biggest field as well, so that we get a good harvest out of that. Second priority takes my barley field. And the third priority, so only when those two are finished, is taking the smaller emma field then here. I think this is pretty important, otherwise we just get a lot of barley perhaps and no emma. So lots of alcohol, but no food. And there it is, construction of the farm has finished. So we can assign now some people to that. Let's start with three. I definitely want to keep one unassigned family still available to me. And they will now be able then to work these fields. Construction resumes for the trading post, another very important building that we'll need then right here at the main road. Also going to take a while. And I noticed that my food is a bit low there, so meat is not really being produced at the moment. I hope it's not a bug or something like that. Let's have a look at my hunters. Procrastinating. And here, anyone hunting? No, they're also procrastinating. They're just standing around. Alright, that's because the wild animals are 20 and 18 and the hunters stop working after that. So unfortunately I cannot get any more food in with the meat and the berries are also full. Yeah, so, um, or uh, almost, almost, well, they're still not empty, but they're, they're going down there. Where's my forager hut? Two people there. I need to be careful about my food right now. Uh, um, the two hunters, of course, will still continue hunting, but it's not that much meat anymore. And I think there's no other game anywhere on my map here unfortunately not it's okay it's okay don't panic yet <laughs> we do have still stuff that we can counter that the trading post for example getting some f uh some money in we could import some food then so we need to really get that harvest here going um i've reassigned now i'm reassigning two more of the hunters to the farm right because at the hunter it's fine for one hunter for each of these and they can do the job then while well, the farms are now fully working, right? So they're plowing right now, as we can see. And they're all on the field. But of course, it's a massive field, so it's going to take a while. But they've got all year for this one now. That's their job. Hmm, food-wise, I could go ahead and get us some more vegetable gardens, to be honest. Do this. Okay, those guys there. Um, and trading post has been finished, so we still have one more person. Let's assign it to the trading post. And yeah, we can finally start trading. Let's go ahead and see what we have as a surplus. I'm pretty sure we have lots of raw materials like pelt. Uh, let's export pelts to a target level of... Yeah, let's make it 60, I think. That would be safe to say. That we can already export quite a bit of that. I think that's the only raw material. Uh, firewood we have plenty of. We could also start exporting then iron ore, right? To so export. And let's go to a target of 15. And is there someone working at the iron mine yet? Yes, there is someone working. We have got 46. Oh, yeah, tools. Stop. Let's not go with the... Let's export tools. To a target of, let's make it 25, right? Even though tools is really cheap, too. Uh, take that in comparison to, my, to the iron ore. That's 3. Right, the iron ore is more valuable than the tools. Interesting. I keep them both active, but let's say iron ore is at 20 minimum. Nah, 15 will be fine. Any surplus is being sold. Nothing else I could sell for now though. Right, we should be careful there. Generating some wealth with that. That's the important thing now. And there's the first coin, 28 wealth we have made out of some pelts that have been sold by this, uh, or by being purchased by this trader here. I hope he knows what he's doing. That's a very steep decline there. Holy cow. Poor horse. Trying to get into the foggy area there now. So far so good. And with that wealth, well, we can finally also start doing some more permanent things like chicken coops. Let's go ahead and get us the first chicken coops out there. 
permanent I say because they produce all year, right? Where the vegetable gardens, I think harvest season comes in now with them. So there should be a bit of food now coming up or popping up them as vegetables. But the, the eggs are being produced all year while this one has its circles, right? The plot is now being under construction, so it's going to take a while for the... The many chickens are already there. They don't have a roof yet. That's it. Oh, that was quick. They're already done with plowing and also sowing. So we are now just having a crop growth here. They're done with this huge field there. And can now move to the other ones as they are doing it right now. To my barley field. So that was all emmer now, and the estimated harvest will be 208 uh, emmer than all wheat, right? But that is happening in 76 days already. So this year, we're going to have a harvest. Yeah, this autumn harvest will already be possible. Well, that's a good thing. So I think we could survive winter after all, <laughs> though it is still close. Some more coins, 64 actually. With that, I would like to go ahead and uh, get us more chickens out there. So, also one more here. Um, this is all being used now, the one I'm not using. And here we can then have, yeah, let's also use some of that for the goats here. So the first goats will be moving in now. And with that, also some milk that we can finally get out of our village then. Perfect. So fuel is fine, yeah, food. We're struggling with that right now, hard. Um, I could also try to just wait for a bit of coin not to come in and we can use this one then to, um, you know, import some food. Especially as an emergency measure, I could do this. But I'm confident right now that we will get enough out of the fields here because this one is already growing now. Um, and this one here is also finished with plowing. So they will now work on the, the sowing then as well. And then that's it again. So I think we will also see a barley harvest this year. And even the small field could work. Um, just nicely. Um, so I could work on my next constructions then. That would be the windmill. Very important that we can get this one done. And yeah, that, that's a very good area here. So we got 96% um, efficiency with the windmill because it's uh, pretty um, open, right? Um, here, for example, that's only 16% because it's surrounded by all the, the wood, the trees. But here we got a perfect fertility um, just across the farm we could do it or a bit closer to my industry zone. I think we're going with a bit closer to the industry zone. So 90% over here, that is still perfectly fine. However, I would like to reserve this one here for a big church. So we do need to make sure that I can still squeeze in the, the church then like this, right? Yeah, so 90% efficiency is fine for me. Let's build the windmill then right over there by the fields. And the church can just easily be squeezed in like this then, right? So it's cornering a bit there to the, the windmill, but that's fine. And the ovens, uh, the oven then for the bread is, is probably probably having um, a bit of space then. Yeah, perfect in this, in this area there, for example. That would be then the ideal. So we can have the road here, finish this area there, and then have the oven being squeezed in here. I hope this is still working now. There you go. This is what I like to see. Just beside my smithy and my storehouse. Or here it would also make sense. Construction has already started. Now the thing is, um, we have a lot of timber, right? So I could of course easily expand right now my population with more burrs. But I'm not doing this because we are already down on food. And I don't know how much more we can actually sustain there. Because right now we don't have a sustainable economy. Right now food is really, really problematic. And we will not survive this winter if it continues like that. Um, so hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping for a good harvest now, really. Honestly, that's the only thing we can do. Um, and also for building up some wealth so that we can import food. But these hunters are really not producing any more food. The animals are stuck at 20. So if there's 21, then one deer gets um, slaughtered. But then they wait again for it to regrow. And it's just regrowing very slowly. So I didn't have this problem in the last playthrough. Perhaps because of the higher difficulty settings, we have this problem now. But my hunters stop producing serious production right so it's really i can call it game over i think we're at 23 food there's really no meat coming in anymore another problem is that even the berries stopped working so they're, they're, they permanently stay at zero now it seems um if there is a berry then it's getting harvested right away of course but it's by far not enough anymore so we are really living here on on dangerous grounds the only hope that i have and we can see this tickling into the food right now is that we have five eggs and one milk in stock as well and that's thanks to the chicken coop that is working now, so the chickens also have, and the goats have a proper home, right? 
producing something, but of course it's not going to be enough. Um, we do have also these vegetable gardens, and I'm hoping that we do see a nice influx of vegetables um, in harvest season, so in autumn around. Um, once they, they produce something. Yep, and the farm, of course, as well. As we can see, um, it is growing. Crop growth is at 11%. And in 54 days, there should be a harvest, even though at the moment the present yield is zero. So it doesn't look like there's anything growing right now. There's not. I'm, I'm very pessimistic right now of, of what we can expect uh, this year. At least the windmill would be ready, right? So at least a bit of flour can be produced then if we have some food in but who knows about that i'm also hoping i'm also putting a lot of hope into my trader right now so we got 16 pelts in stock um and they're of course constantly transporting things over as we can see getting stuff to the trading post so we can make some money out of that this is also another hope that i have that could help us there at the end and of course as a last means we we could eat the children we could do that, and, and the old, but the, the, the children first, because their meat is more tender. As we can see, the first vegetables is coming in, or are coming in, right? So 17 vegetables. It's at least helping us a bit. Also, the eggs are a bit a bit higher rate coming in now. What is not coming in is wolf. So, for some reasons, no one wants to purchase my, my pelts. There's also no trade on the road right now. I don't know, there's some black, black magic happening, I think. Okay, this is really helping us out right now. So we got 233 vegetables in store, right? So this actually leads to some of these houses having a full um, storage. And this is being transported then, of course, right to the granary. Let's assign a second person to that because they are getting it over there to the granary. This could this could help us there with a, uh, with a few months at least um, getting this done. So hopefully that's working. Where's a trader, please? Good season, good season, a good harvest there for the vegetables. Berries and meat is really out now. It's non-existent really. And the vegetables are flooding the market right now. That's good. You can live off that. I'm going to prepare for my, my harvest. So if we could do get emmer out of this, out of wheat, right? Out of uh, If we get wheat out of my fields, then we can get flour out of my windmill. And then I can get bread out of my oven so let's do this and let's get us this one cracking somewhere yeah probably here somewhere in the in the in the center of it all so the the smell of bread of fresh bread is filling the air of my village and the ox let's get the ox actually up here because now nah, actually let's keep it there in the center for now right i mean this is whole the the, the market area that i'm planning here but of course, it has no priority right now. There's still lots of harvest to be done here with the vegetables. And we also have more and more eggs now in. This is this is looking good. Still not winter survival good, but it's fine. And I think, do we have harvest season? Are they harvesting here already? Yes, they are. It's a bit early for that, isn't it? It's August. 28 days until the full harvest is, uh, is estimated, but they're doing it already. I did not type anything in here, right? No, force early harvest is not, it's not working. So, hmm, strange. Okay, I hope this is not doing anything too bad. I mean, there is some, some wheat piling up here, at least. Oven is also under construction. And by the way, we also have done a nice circle here. So production of the wheat, flour, it goes around here, bread, and it goes around once more to the granary. <laughs> so we have a fully rotated uh, crop production, right? Bread production. There it is. Oven is also finished. I'm not going to send anyone to that yet, obviously, as we don't have any flour. But we will at some point, hopefully. Yes, harvest didn't look so bad. I don't know why they did it so early, right? It's fallow now. So there's not going to be anything, even though... I'm going with Emmer, I'm sorry, but we're going to make the fellow further away here. Um, right now, it's important that we get more out of that. 
And for the barley, I'm also going to say the same thing. Let's make it barley two times and then fallow. I'm going to change this around then later on. But right now, I really need more. So they should start with plowing then right away again. And yeah, we do have some 70 grain in stock. Right? It's being threshed at the moment. So we still have more wheat, of course. But there is some stuff happening there at least. This is looking better now. And vegetables is also still growing. So I'm confident. Slightly, cautiously confident. No trader though. That is what worries me a bit more. We have a full stock now in the trading post. Ah, finally I can see a symbol. <laughs> there is a trader. Please purchase something. Ah, it does look good. Didn't purchase anything, right? Nope. Perhaps there's also some someone coming from the other way. Eh, doesn't look good here right now. No trading at the moment. That's okay. That's okay because we have no food crisis anymore. So we got 300 vegetables, 15 eggs, and also here the farm is full with grain and also barley. A bit of barley at least is coming in. Not much, right? So three. We will not be able to use that for a lot. But at least for now we can we can do this. Oh so fellow here and the estimated harvest here. Oh yeah, they're doing this, right? So they're plowing the fields here again for the next year then as well. Very good. So what we can do here now is I'm going to assign one person to the windmill. So this one can start its work now. And with that we'll be able to finally make some flour out of it. Of course it's all for preparation for winter. Okay, what we could have here is a traveling merchant, right? So these will travel to the nearest trade point to fulfill set inventory targets. So if there's no one purchasing something here at the moment, this trader also did not fulfill any trades, then I can assign a second person to that and one of them is, doing a tr is, is going to be a traveling merchant now. And he's going to this point here, there's the trade route, right? So he's going there and selling goods that we have in stock. And we have lots of stuff in stock. So lots of pelts and iron ore. And hopefully, he's, or one of them is going to do the job here. That needs to be done. Meanwhile, the windmill has started its work now. So there it is. The first flower also coming out of it. And of course, the advantage of the windmill is it can also work through the whole year. So even in winter, right, uh, we can continue producing flour out of all the grain that we have. And we get 300 grain. So that's quite a lot. Um, and hopefully a bit more stable with that now. Um, that is the flower. So theoretically we could start with the bread now, but I'm waiting still because I don't have the workforce, nor do we need bread urgently right now. A bit of meat is in, lots of vegetables. And I think there could be a second harvest here then again as well. But who knows about that? And berries still remains empty. It is September, so it's probably going to not be that many berries anymore. Um, one of them is transporting. Yes! This guy here, Linhard, he took it upon himself to go out into the world, leave his village where he was born and grew up, going out there, selling goods to the world, hopefully not getting robbed or anything like that, even worse. And yes, actually he was doing something, right? So we got some, I think, 12 coin out of it. Thank you very much. Of course, he's going to take this route here now, again and again, selling goods. None of the traders is doing any favor here to us, so... Very disappointing. Uh, we could also say, since we have so much right now... Hmm... Nah, let's... I mean, we're full on timber. I could reduce it for the logging camp. Assign a second person to that and assign a second traveling trader to this one, right? So we, we speed it up even more. That's what I would like to do. Perfect. Now, flower. Where is it? 34. Perfect. Ah, and it's also harvest. Oh, it's also autumn again. The trees are turning red and orange. Ah, very good. Finally, a real trade. 190 coin. That's all I need. With that, we can continue now going with some chicken coops. Those guys here. Go ahead. Chicken coop, chicken coop. And in here, a goat. Goat chat. And you can also be a goat chat, right? So that we have it. That should add a bit more self-sustainability. Of course, lots of chicken coops, so that's going to take a while for them to grow now, or to build. And look how busy the roads are. I think my farmers are done for the season anyway, so it's just growing now. 
Oh, no, this is not done yet. Oh, it's fallow. Okay. And this one here is barley, but it's also growing now only. So nothing else that needs to be done. So those farmers, of course, can help out with construction. So I don't need to, and that's a pretty cool feature. I don't need to, um, you know, remove them from the, the farm. Because if they're idle, they're just going to help somewhere else, right? They're just going to help building or collecting, stuff like that. Or even at the mine, if they don't have anything to do right now. Even though the mine we keep... We keep idle for now because we have too much. Too much anyway. Um, also, what I can see is the trading post is no longer having anything in stock. Is that right? I think it is still having something in stock. And it's just being transported outside right now. Um, but what we can do is, or should do now, is then jumpstart our oven. And I don't need anyone in the bloomery right now. Because we have enough tools. 92. So the smithy also doesn't need to work. And both of them can work now at the oven. Starting producing us some bread. Yeah, and there it is. The baker at his work. Producing us some bread. And as we can see, bread is now in stock as well. So we got some meat, vegetables and bread, eggs and milk, and you can definitely have some good dishes with that. All right, since everything here is going fine now, and I don't think we have a, a food sh so, uh, shortage anytime soon, um, I can go ahead with the next constructions, and there would be more city space. We still have this area there. Of course, the easy thing would be to do it like that. I'm not doing this, however, because I like this small forest that we have there in the area and I would like to preserve it. So let's go ahead and just make it like so. And this should also work just fine, really. Let's just see how we can make this work. Or we go over here, over here. Yeah, this is looking, this is looking good, right? I mean, could we make it smaller even? Yes. A bit smaller, perhaps. There you go. This is looking good, right? And we can still res keep this one there available there to us. Um, let's build it. There you go. Some trees will disappear, but only a few of them. And we can keep this patch of, of forest there as well. Since we have the timber, another construction. I mean, it's October now, so harvest season is over, right? There's not that much going on anymore where we need a lot of workforce. And as we can see also here, my farmers, right? They're crafting something. They're going somewhere. Um, so they're doing their... They're helping out. Um, I, I can go ahead with the next trading thing. So the, the livestock trading. Because with that, we can get some farms out then. Uh, some sheep farms, for example, uh, next year, right? So once we start with uh, getting some trading done here. Um, and once I have some more wealth. Of course, we do have some 95 wealth. I would like to keep this one here for these new houses that are already coming up now. I guess the trees actually stay if they're in the garden. So one of them might not even get a, a plot. Yeah, it's, it's fine, actually. Right, we have enough trees in here still. That's that. And the other construction I would like to start now as well would be the church. So uh, I've been waiting on this for quite some time now because I wanted to have a really good location. And I think this is looking fine, right? We could make this one still a bit better there, I think. So something like that is fine. Let's build the church. There it is. Because here we do have then a nice area for the market. There you go. This is the market area now. We also have the well in the market area. I hope that is fine. I hope it's not really overlapping or something like that. Or I hope overlapping is fine. And then the granary as well. Unfortunately, we don't have any ornaments yet. I would love to squeeze in some ornaments here and there to make this one look more lovely. But I think this will have to do. And the next houses are being finished as well. Let's go ahead and right away um, add something. So a chicken coop, for example, here. And yeah, enough trees remain. Ah, this one. Did it really need to vanish? Okay, it's fine. There's the next house. And then this one. Five houses in total. That was crazy how many we can squeeze in here. And the first new people join as well. Uh, bread is also piling up. So 60 bread we have. Also a bit of meat piling up again. Why? Because we have other food that is being consumed now as well. Right? So meat does not take priority anymore. Uh, it was rather low when berries were low too, but I think we are looking really good right now. Um, and two bakers will also do just fine. 
here at the, the marketplace. I love that we have the baker then at the, the marketplace. It makes sense to me as well. Um, also, you get the fresh smell of bread. Hmm, do we need a road here? I think we might need to add a road here. Because it's quite busy there, right? All these people going to the mill and then to the granary. I think we could add a, a, a smaller road here so people don't go on the dirt all the time. Rather use the, the roads then. And the next construction continues. As we're going into November now. And of course, all the new buildings receive something right away. So we could also add... Uh, let's add some chickens there as well. And some chickens here. Our beautiful forest is looking as good as ever, right? So we do have dense forest over here. And then this area where lots of trees are growing. So I think we're still fine with just planting trees again. And just as winter starts, the last house is also being finished. This one here. And this one here. Unfortunately, I think... Did I do a mistake here? I think they're a bit too small for another plot. I thought actually they had a cross here, didn't they? Okay, that's my mistake entirely. It doesn't matter really, okay? These two houses are a bit too, slow, uh, too small then. We could theoretically remove them and build it again, but... Yeah, it's not really necessary, so let's just keep it like that for now. And now construction of the church begins. Of course, <laughs> there could be better days of doing this. But we do need farmers in, this, in spring, so right now that's the perfect timing. Starting in December, the church, of course, is going to take a long time until it is finished. And it's a pretty big building too. Even though we get lots of people here helping out as well. Lots of snow here still, where the market area will be. Unfortunately, we only have st uh, stalls, right? So I would love ornaments for the ground, especially, and stuff like that. You could do a lot in, in such an area. And then here, a beautiful big church will stand at some point. And since this granary here is full, as we can see... Um, uh, it's, it's advised to build a second one and we can just really lovely squeeze in another granary here and yes of course absolutely let's do this on its way to the the windmill i think a road here will not do but they don't always need to have a road right the road connection is important um but they can still enter the granary from the other side as well just like those people here right do it they also they also come in from the other side so it doesn't matter it's only to have a road connection for carts to to get by um but a second granary is pretty important i think Overall, for securing our food supply, as 500 is probably not then enough, and it's being really stuffed here with grain and flour right now. So we do need to, we do need, we just need to add something else then as well to this. Oh, it's just lovely how the church is coming along in all its glory. Really, it's 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 still going to take a while, but it's coming along, and that's beautiful to see. Such an expensive building, um, and since we have the food, really, I would like to grow faster. So let's add some more burgages. Here we can do this just easily. Mm. Like so, this is going to be interesting. Right, look at that. Yeah, this could work. They could all have a plot. All like this. They could also all have a plot. And I think I'm going like this. They don't need to look towards the main road. They need to look towards my main road. So this is turning into my main road here, right? The center there. Parallel to this one there. And loan supplies for what? It doesn't look loan supplies to me. Make sure you have enough food and fuel and storage. Yeah, fuel might be a, a problem than the firewood. And since there's lots of workforce coming in, let's also go ahead and get us another woodcutter out there producing firewood. And I think here beside the pit is going to be a good location for this. Let's just extend the road there a bit further. And have then the firewood cutter here as well, right? So for this forest, we could also have it for uh, this forest down here. Hmm, would also make sense. Let's go ahead and have it here for now. It's a bit closer to my, my central 
area, right? And once we grow then here, we can still add one then as well. Settlement level has been increased as well. We have reached the medium village now. Perfect. And with that, not that much happens other than we probably will be taxed soon. Probably will need to look out that we do produce some taxes then soon as well. And there it is also, the church. Right now though, we are still in the building process of uh, this new residential zone. So there is uh, four more people, five more, four more, it's four more. <laughs> it's four more people coming out, four more houses coming up with the plots just along the main road. And as we can see also, this main road here kind of like serves as a border right now. So we do have this side here with the city and this side with nature yet. But of course, we can then also plaster this one here with buildings if we want to. Our situation, we are in January, so winter is coming to an end soon. Our situation is rather good at the moment. Food is full, thanks to having also the vegetable gardens. Now we are sitting at 400 vegetables, some eggs, uh, some bread and meat, so we have plenty of everything. Berries are out though, right? So berries have not been harvested for a long time now, um, and they deplete rather quickly. Grain, we still have plenty of grain in store there as well, so the wind will still continue to work to make flour out of that. Two people are in it right now, and the flour is then of course being made right into bread, so plenty of stuff to do. Some of you have been pointing out that there is an upgrade button for the granary, and that is completely right. It's this one here. I never really looked at that, because I thought it's just a visual error. But yeah, upgrade to a large granary for three timber we can do this so let's go ahead and have this upgrade here going to take a while going to need three timber now that is being or three logs that are being over uh, transported over here and then this building here is going to be upgraded i was already wondering right because it is looking so small for the radius that it has around it so there's probably going to be a much bigger building here coming out of that but we'll just see church is also right now in the city center in all its glory with some nice music that we can add then to the village itself right here at the front of the market area that is still empty but we are going to of course add something to that soon let's just check out the other things that we have storage limit has been arrived achieved or has um limit has been reached with um also the flower here that we have lots of that so my my storehouse is full as we can see we cannot upgrade this one however so there is really no button for this um pantry limit also this means that the granary is full it is pretty full and work area is empty for the forager hut there is no berries yet so we can actually also use that workforce for something else i would like to reassign some more people again to the logging camp since we have these families here we do need more timber i mean we are sitting at 13 officially but in here we have 23 of course the reason is that some of that is being used now here for the burgages right so we don't have as much as uh, as it looks here right now um rather the 13 here is the more realistic one i would like to start working then on my new industry and that is the clothing industry. For that, we do have the tannery. So this one converts pelts into leather. Leather is also more valuable than that we can use for the trading post. And we should definitely have this one in my in my industry zone here. So there is no um, <laughs> uh, smell pollution, right, in this game at the moment. So we can safely place it here. Though in real life, I would probably never really put a tannery right next to the burgage plots. This is just really nasty. Even though there's just some gardens here, right? So it's not directly next to the building. And then we also have the weaver workshop. The flax and the wool to yarn and linen. Now we only do need two types of clothes. So we are already getting some flax in. But I don't know how much. I would still like to go for some sheep farms um, that we can use. Because it's, it's probably not enough than otherwise. So sheep farms we should also prepare. And with that then the weaver hut. Let's also go ahead and build the sheep farm. It only costs me one timber, really, so it's extremely cheap. And we could uh, place it somewhere over here, right? So there's this road going away. Um, and then we have the sheep farm probably somewhere over there or actually here. Yep, this one looks better to me. So it's a bit more open there, right? So sheep can go around here. And also we can still squeeze in some more buildings then uh, in, that, in that tiny area there. Very good. The next house has been finished right over here. We can add something. We should add something right away. I think, yeah, milk. We could have a bit more of it. So let's go ahead with a goat chat as the next construction. And my regional wealth is only 35. So we could also... Can we do something here more? No, not really, right? We already got three people in it. Two of them are... Um, now the traveling merchants, so they are selling whatever we have in stock, leading to not being anything in stock really, even though it says 50 to 50, I don't see that here. Um, but still, we should be selling a lot, right? So yeah, there's still lots of pals we can sell, there's iron ore that we can sell, and wasn't there something else? There's tools we can sell, lots of them. We have so many tools, doesn't really matter. 
how many we sell. We can always just produce more. Lots of stuff going on here in the center. As we can see, we still haven't f started on the granary yet. I think I'm going to put the priority up. They're working right now very diligently there at these plots. And since the distance is quite far away, it's taking some time. Ah, and finally there it's starting. Upgrading of my granary. Very good. And as we can see, this is already looking significantly bigger than the small building that we still have there. That's going to be our primary food storage from now on. Yep, there is the facade and finished it is. Six people can be actually employed with this one here, combined to four only there. We got 500 storage in the base version and 1,500 in the upgraded version. So I'm going to, of course, assign someone. Let's assign two people to that right away. Um, and this granary here, we are probably going to make empty from now on. So there's not, no one going to work in here anymore. Uh, we cannot add any deplete button, right? But I would probably like to get rid of this building here in the near future. Um, as this granary is now doing an amazing job. Now we can resume in our brokerage plots over there. There's still two more that we need to finish. And then the sheep farm. And also now for the livestock, we have six unassigned people. Let's assign someone to that. Um, and here, I would then like to import something. We do have 43 wealth. Oh, there's some selling again. Perfect. Um, to import another ox. So let's put the target to 10. It's only costing me 10 import price there, really. Um, and then also I would like to add a target of four sheep. Right, so this is where we're using our money on right now. Um, of course, also the upcoming royal tax is something we should uh, watch out for. Um, that's then with the locks, right? So once we have a few more locks again, I can start working on that. But for now, we should be fine. There's still a year, right? And we're still in February now only, so that's fine. Also, what I would like to point out over here, these fields, oh my goodness, we're going to have a pretty bountiful harvest there. So as we can see, present yield is already 450. The estimated harvest is going to be 600. So this is just working flawlessly over winter. This is fallow for this year. So there's nothing coming out of it. That's okay. And here we have barley with only 28% um, fertility so that's 167 that's going to be 300 already so I'm pretty sure that even with that low fertility we're going to have enough barley for what we need all right now the mortgage plot has been finished and the family is moving in already I think we can also go ahead with uh, some upgrades there again let's go with two chicken two chicken coops oh no we are actually out of wealth there again let's go with a vegetable garden let's mix it up there so we got goats chickens and vegetables and I really would like to, to save some money there for the... Oh, look at that! For the trading post. And we have a second ox in store. Someone has sold us one. There should be an ox now somewhere here. Or is it already on its way? There is one. Please tell me that there is another ox somewhere here now running around. Where's my hitching post? Because they will probably stay there and... Alright, I only see one ox right now, but I'm pretty sure the second one will come up soon. Um, as we are enjoying another snow melting, it's just really beautiful, the transition, right? Over the seasons, as we can see that. The other ox probably needs to be trained first. There it is! There we have it now. We have two oxen now finally walking around in our city. And he's now being delivered over here once again, or is he now getting something from it? He's still waiting, right? Um, I do have now at the hitching post, I needed to assign a second person to that. So we have now two people working then at the hitching post and both of them are ox handlers now. And both of them have an ox uh, while delivering logs much faster now to construction sites. Not much logs coming in here right now, waiting, procrastinating. Do I need to... Put the timber a bit further away perhaps yeah i think we definitely can see now the the trees going down here right so the amount of trees that we have so i might actually need to move them away there a bit we don't have any any trees there anymore felling a tree now they're doing it again over here and this this area regrows now but yeah we are definitely out of trees here so this is why it's taking a bit more time now 
And the next woodcutter lodge because, oh yes, we do need it. We are running out of firewood at this point. And the other firewood, where is it? My logging camp, woodcutter lodge, three people and they're all felling trees and crafting. That's how it should be. All right, next burgage plot. Let's assign a vegetable garden to that again. So that's four more and with that more people. We're coming close to 100 now. By now, also the tannery is in construction. And I think, yeah, also here the woodcutter is coming close. So we have two construction sites right now, and at both there are plenty of people doing it. So construction is happening just very quickly. Unfortunately, we're still very low in timber, so this really should, really should get cracking here now. Yes, they're already gathering. And of course, we do need an ox for every log that is being chopped down, right? So this is also why it's important to have several uh, oxen, because it's just speeding up the whole process here, as we can see. It's getting over there already, pushing at us to 10 timber again. And there you go, tannery. And yeah, we do have enough people, so let's assign someone to that. And he will now make leather out of pelts. And also, the next woodcutter lodge is finishing up right over here. There it is. Let's assign some... Let's go, ah, let's assign one person for it now. And yeah, over here we have then the forest for that. Even though it's not a very dense forest, it should be fine for just one woodcutter. And I totally forgot about my sheep farm. <laughs> it's also under construction, it's also close to completion already. We don't have any sheep in stock yet though. Uh, 24 wealth it is, so one sheep we could afford most likely. But we'll just see when a trader is delivering that. And there you go, sheep farm finished. Now we just need to wait for some sheep and then I can assign someone to that. Also what I can finally start is the construction of my manor area. So this is the bailey wall, this is 11 logs. This is going to take quite some time before we can finish this. And then we can also add a, a gatehouse right somewhere here, either here or actually here. This one would look pretty cool, I think, uh, close to my market area and stuff like that. Very good. And then we can have the manor house in here and more importantly, the tax office that we're going to need for additional for the tax income then basically that also gives me then some wealth livestock one sheep we have it the first sheep has arrived let's get a sheep herder Real out there so thomas you're doing the job you're in it for the for the sheepies and yes this is the face of a sheep herder he is ready for action while walking around in other people's backyards by the way, I never really noticed people are really going to church. The door is opening. They go in and pray and go out again. And also construction of the manor area starts. But of course, it's going to be a pretty big construction. I just hope that this time uh, we don't have any problems with elevation. It's looking good. It's looking like good flat terrain there that we have. And of course, the whole village is helping. Ah, by now also the other fire, a woodcutter lodge has started its work. So Erhard here is doing it. And we can already see that the firewood is going up again. Even though, of course, it is spring right now. So there's not that much need for firewood anymore as in winter. Now we have nine more timber. I would like to use this to just build us a few more burgages. And let's just find us a suitable location. Um, I think here we could add some, right? So this one would be a good location for it, right beside the, the church. This could work out that we have two there. Oh, we just keep this one empty for now. And yeah, let's have them here at the moment. I think this is safer to add some more burgages than here in this area. Extending our residential zone then to the iron mine already. And I think it doesn't need to be that big. That's looking fine. And mm, going for the whole duration, this is just huge then. We could also make it smaller. Yes. Being this small, we could then squeeze in some more burgages here, right? So this would work out. Or something else. We'll just see about that. 
Some more constructions bringing us down to one timber only. Those three people should hopefully be working. Or, hmm. Yeah, there's lots of timber over there right now. Six timber lying around. So the oxen should do a, tr uh, a good job. Can I assign a third one? I don't think so. I think then the hitching post should be full, right? Because we can only have two people here. Let's just go for a third ox. Make the target to three. Even though, right, it's, it's pretty expensive. So it's going to take us a while. And always, I know a lot of you are suckers for it, so let's just have a quick look around in our gorgeous cloak and shoes. A, a nice spring walk, getting out of the house, getting some fresh air. Here in my new residential zone. Oh, we can even fast backtrace here. Backtrack. <laughs> And as we get closer to the city center, it's getting more dense. We can already see the church ahead. Right here where stuff is happening, right? So the industry zone over there. We got our farm. The church, of course, sitting on a, uh, standing on an empty market area for now. The old granary, which is probably going to get destroyed soon. The whole to town is already talking about it. And over there, then, our new manor area that is coming along now but it's still going to take a while, of course, on this fine sunny spring day. Also, the berry bushes have regrown, so it's spring, of course, in the forager hut. Let's assign someone to that again. Even though we're sitting at 800 food at this point, it's just crazy. Uh, the vegetables are still going up like crazy. The bread is in there, 170 eggs by now, and 89 milk. So plenty of food, right? The oven is busy all year getting or processing all that flour because it is a lot of flour that my windmill here is doing and I think for now though we are out of uh, yep we're out of grain so just at the beginning of March we're out of it so we can stop the windmill for now and people can do something else for example working in the farm let's assign one more person to that so we have two unassigned that I can still use for something else but there's going to be a bountiful harvest for emmer and for barley yeah, manor area is also coming along. Halfway through, I'd say. And we still have 286 days for this mission. Oh, and by the way, yes, of course, we do need to assign a pasture to the sheep farm. I didn't even notice, right? So right now we have a livestock capacity of zero, even though there is one sheepy already in it. It is totally confused of what it should be doing. So we do need to add something here. This is just like similar with the fields. We do need to add a pasture to this area. Um, and of course, I would like to go ahead and just have it right over there. But we can have this. Is it going to take a while? No, it's actually filled right now and 30 sheep could uh, be squeezed in then here. Also assign that and it should actually then work, right? Going somewhere, the herder. It's still at zero, so hopefully this works then. We're just going to wait it out. That's a good location for it and that sheep has a, a fantastic view really. Down into the foggy valley. Very good, finally our sheep herder, two of them. Wait, wait a second. No, there's only one. I guess one is just doing it out of a hobby. And there he is again, Thomas. And he is now finally doing what, doing his true life purpose, right? <laughs> Herding sheep and enjoying the view. We also have a third oxen in store. So we have finally purchased one more. 10 regional wealth, okay. And there it is, right? So it's coming in with a trader there now. And I think we actually use all three right now. Two are at the hitching post. There's one, two. Or do we not have the third one yet? Could also be out here gathering logs. Hmm. I still need to keep my eye out for the third one. 
So there it is, the third one now on its way, gathering logs, right? While the other one is delivering logs, and another one yet again is here at the manor house delivering logs. Okay, so we are at 98. I hope that we can breach now the 100. And let's just sign another vegetable garden to this one then too. I mean, we don't have enough vegetables yet. That should be should be fine. Approval rating is at 55, so we do have a nice food variety right now. That's what people like, and we also have the church. And in that case here, yes, <laughs> this is really truly a, a big construction ongoing here with many, many people, as we can see, involved in it. Still taking a bit of time, but it's getting close. One more log is then missing and also the fence is coming along. Where's this guy going, by the way? So he's coming out again. I think he was just getting confused a bit and wanted to scroll into the forest. But that's looking fine. And the last log is also being delivered now. And they can finish that fence in no time. First though, we need to finish our new residential zone. A few more people can't hurt. That's why you use our three oxen right now. Getting really cramped there on the main road. And as these houses finish, we finally also breach 100 people, total population. So I guess we are now a medieval city, because 100 is actually quite a lot already for medieval terms. Um, yeah, let's also add some more again. Wealth-wise, we're still not doing really that much better, so let's just go with the vegetable garden. I'm going to keep the other two empty for now, um, because really we don't need more vegetables and... I would like to wait for a bit more wealth to, to go for more variety again, right? So milk and eggs, even though we have plenty of that in stock as well. These guys are really doing something, right? Yeah, they're transporting, right? So they're still selling goods, fine. But it's of course taking time, as we can see. So there's only a bit of wealth coming in there from time to time. So right now I'm waiting for timber, that we have it, 10. Do we really have 10? That was, that was a, a quick jump, but I guess it's just happened so fast now with those three oxen. Very good. 10 timber. How much does a manor house cost us? 10 timber. We have all of it. So we can go ahead and start the construction of this new building. No bugs this time. We can add it safely. And let's do this. The manor house in construction in this very beautiful location. And hopefully I get a room in there looking towards this side there. And of course one room looking towards this side because I want to see my city there too. And already construction begins. Three timber already arrived. As the oxen are getting everything over. Probably the biggest construction beside the church. It's going to take us a while. Mm, by now it is May. We are getting close to summer now. Um, we still have 220 days for the royal tax, the first one. We do need five, so we should easily be able to do this. The last timber is being now delivered to the manor house, and the second house can begin. And there it stands, finally. Policies have been unlocked in Sleepy Hollow with that, even though, of course, unfortunately, we can use policies in the demo. We would have two points available at this point. I can't wait to unlock them at some point. And there it is, in all its glory. A beautiful, big house. Do we have a... We don't even have a window on that side. That is a, a horrible construction error on my part. We do have a tiny window here, so I probably could be up there and look towards that view. Oh, God. All right, so it's okay. It's okay. It's still it's still a majestic building there, right? I guess. Very good. Uh, we do have six timbers, so that should be enough to have the tax office then available as well. Tax collector four. Uh, let's have this one here on that side. It does need to have a road connection. So let's have it somewhere over here then. And I guess in the future, we could have then more buildings piling up here that do need a road connection, right? In the demo, we only have one more building then available, but I, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be more than that. So, oh yes, also we have these towers that I can add, um, but overall, we could then have several buildings coming together here beside the road. Now, tax collector, let's start this one. Let's add a higher priority to this one so we can quickly finish it. And then we can finally tax our people as it is right 
And yeah, after a short period of time, we already have almost all the locks. There's the last one coming in. And we can finish also this beautiful building. We have 11 unassigned people right now. Um, yeah, one of them is definitely going to be a tax collector. However, let's also assign someone to the farmers. Uh, here, as we can see, the harvest is full now, right? So this they're still waiting 80 days now, but the harvest would be now what is estimated. So that's the maximum that it can grow, and it's also looking beautiful. Our fields of emmer. All three fields, by the way, are now fully grown. This one here still grows a bit, but it still has time as well. Alrighty. And just one more step, really. There it is. And there it is, in all its glory. A tax office now, too. So there is just the right size of windows so people can throw in the coins, I guess. No idea why it would need a road connection on that side otherwise. And let's just have a look at that. So two things we can get in the demo. The first one would be Geld and the other one the Tithe. So the Tithe is for the church. This one gives me influence as well as we know from the last playthrough. And with that we were able to push it beyond a 1000 influence. Unfortunately we cannot claim other territory. So we'll just be happy with the Geld for now. Let's uh, go with... One silver, that is already dropping my approval rating quite a bit, but we already will be having a, an income of 30. Right, there it is. 30 personal money coming in now, and we only need 5, so we'll have plenty of coin by the time this uh, quest runs out then. Um, so we are fine now with the taxes, of course, approval-wise. Uh, it will be going down now, so we should also add another industry. And that is then right on top with the barley harvest coming in. And that is our alcohol. So we still have 77 days. I could, however, already force the early harvest. A minimum crop growth for any kind of harvest needs to be 15% and ignores the harvesting season and harvests immediately. And I think we can activate this for the barley just safely now. And we have 10 people on the sense. I really would like to start with my malt house then as well. So we can have the next production right here. And then also the brewery that whew, I need to squeeze in somewhere here, please. And hopefully we can do this somehow. It's, it's getting really tight here in the industry zone. Very good. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving the, the hunting cab a bit further out north so we can move the tannery in here into this location there which is still close enough. And then here we have the spot now available for the malt house and the brewery respectively. Uh, both of them also in my industry zone. And these are the last buildings I think we need to add to the industry zone. And then we have all the buildings available there to us. And they will then just safely continue now with producing alcohol for us. All right, that's that, uh, that's that, that's also working, and how's it looking? Yes, there is the harvest now coming in, quite a lot of it this year, so it's, I think it's safe to, to harvest now. And the whole family, of course, is joining in, so we got six total field workers, making it 12 in total, because the wifeys help out as well. Another thing I would do right away is deleting that granary here now. So there is 340 still in stock. I wonder if it gets transferred over or if it's just getting lost. We still have plenty of room here, so 800 it is right now. Deleting it, um, it teleports resources to the nearest building to save them. Ah, that didn't work. <laughs> so we have now 300 food less, but we were over 1,000. It's still plenty, but it was not being transport, uh, transferred anywhere, really, I think. The storehouse, of course, certainly not. doesn't store food. And this one here is still sitting at 800, right? The next granary. So this was not working, but it's fine. So I waited specific specifically to have enough um, in the store so we are not uh, jeopardizing our village with that. Also, the next industry is already coming along. The malt house. We can assign someone to that as the barley harvest is in full spring. And also the tannery. Let's assign someone to that again as well to make leather for us. Malt house. Yeah, this should be working now, right? Waiting. Ah, the harvest is not over yet, right? So the harvest is being stored in the... There it is. Now it's coming in to the farm, the barley. And the malt house will then do its job. Already transporting. Perfect. Getting the barley over. And construction of a brewery still will take some time, I think. Ah, there's the locks coming. Guys, <laughs> I know where the food has been transported. To the manor house. It is full. 320 food in stock. So there's the bread, the vegetables, the milk and the eggs. Everything is still stored. 
Um, just now in the manor house, right? In the manor house, by the way, there's also lots of people that can move in here. So we are at 120 now uh, people and still nine unassigned. So lots of people are moving in here um, and they have, well, plenty of food for the foreseeable future. The brewery has finished up, so we can also assign someone to that. Now, hopefully the malt house is already working. Yes, there is someone working. <laughs> Making malt, as we can see. Have the first of that available, and the brewery can now also start then producing beer out of that, or ale. Sorry, it's ale actually that we can then use for our tavern. Also for my market area, I'm going to remodel this a bit. We have so much timber at the moment that I don't care if we need to build the church again. Um, and we have so much workforce that it should be quickly done so. So let's delete the church, unfortunately, bringing us to 25 timber. Um, and let's just go ahead and remove this road here. Right, and then we over there we have the, the granary that now has its connection then as well with this side there. That we have then one cohesive road, hopefully. And here, I would like to have then the market area more or less this area there, right? This one can work. And then we have the church. And then hopefully also somehow the, the ale house then closer to that. So that we have both of them kind of like connected here. And then we are rebuilding it. So there is now a, a well coming up here as well, right? The tavern is coming along. Closer to the industry zone, so the workers can get there quickly, get their ale, and also here then to the market. And then we have the church over there, right behind it. Unfortunately, there is no other way of actually doing this other, uh, in here, because I can't move the houses without building roads, and you need to have the roads somehow around the market area. And I can't squeeze both of these buildings in here, for example. So we're going to have the tavern over there as another kind of like means to go to towards the, the industry sector. The church is kind of like in the same position almost. Looking then to the back and closer to the manor house. And I'm just waiting now really for this well here to finish. Let's put this one on highest priority. There's also a second well now in construction over there. So there is the water vein. We need to make sure that we always have it over them. Right? So I can't place wells everywhere. Um, probably since we have one over there, um, I can also have another one down here. Closer to my, to, my, uh, to my village, right? So every villager gets water whenever they need to. So we got three wells then. Uh, around the, the the core city and there's the tavern coming up and the church now too it's going to take a while to finish both of these constructions but we have so many people right now that it should be easily done the same with the well another problem is that if i place the market area it is overlapping the well and i think the well is not working then anymore there it is the well is finished so we can now delete this one and i can now finally plant me a market area right over here beside my tavern there we have it and on it we do have then the food stalls for example right so they're looking towards the the village in here some of them Let's get to work. probably going to make a few of them because they need to distribute different kind of foods right so there's another one over there and then probably another one here and then we are going for the firewood stall so right here another one beside the, the food stall here and probably also then somewhere. Mm. Somewhere here? Make that sense? No, actually, let's keep it with two. And then the cold thing, we definitely need two of them. So another one we can have then right here. And also one here. Unfortunately, that's all we can do for the market area, right? So I cannot have more stalls available than this. All right, I think the tavern is finished. Yes, tavern is finished. Let's assign someone to that. We should have ale at this point. Yep, 15 ale in stock. Very good. By the way, yeah, we also have four sheepies. Right, so they have all been imported now, four of them, producing us wool. That we're going to need then for the weaver hut, which is the last industry building. The weaver workshop, right? And we could actually have this one over here then as well. And I'm going to do this as we can just safely squeeze it in now. Also, construction of the market has begun. And also the church, once again, is coming up. Unfortunately, we cannot move the church or the tavern, right? So once built, you need to delete them if you want to move them. Just, just taking them more time. There it is, the church now. The tavern. And then here, the, 
the market area that is already coming along. Here we can already move someone in into the first food stall. There's the firewood. Already getting its resources. Another firewood stall. And we definitely another food stall. Perfect. This is where we get all the workforce now. Another firewood. And then we of course need the clothing store. There it is. Very good. And I would love to add more stalls here, but we don't have enough types, right? It's looking like a smaller medieval market there right now with different stalls everywhere. Just waiting for this one now. Clothing. Clothing. We have one more person then available. And as we can see, it's also being ticked now then here. So faith. Uh, entertainment is next. The food is ticked because we have two types. And then it's only all about the clothing that we still need to fix. I think we do need a third clothing stall actually. Last time it was it was required. So let's go ahead and have a third one. We could have it then also here so we make this row complete. Or we have it behind this one. So we kind of like begin now here also having this central area then, right? Where I could have more of them than here. Let's just do this because I want to have this one look somehow appropriate. It's like a proper bigger market. There's the next clothing. So two of them are filled now and both of them should receive then something. Like leather, for example, from the storehouse, right? We got 56 leather in store right now. But also I'm looking forward to get then some yarn out of the weaver shop. At the farm. Oh yeah, the emmer harvest was also successful. And we get the emmer now over and then also some grain with that. Now we are actually lacking workforce. Who would have thought? And as we can see, food stall, the milk is coming in. There's also now the firewood being delivered then over here. And I think there we can see now, yes, the ladder being transported over. So people can also purchase something here then right away from the storehouse. Hmm. We will need a second storehouse, unfortunately. As this one is quite full. So I might have another one over there somewhere. Oh, but we do like timber. Of course we lack timber. We are building a pretty big market right now. Hey, give us a hand over here. Food is really fine. Fuel is also looking better. I think we can safely reduce the amount of people in the farm. Get someone else at the windmill again. And the oven. Let's also reduce this for now as it's going to take a while for the flour to come in. And by the way, also now here the weaver workshop coming along. And with all that construction, there's not a lot of timber coming in because the oxen are all busy delivering the resources. I wonder if I can assign someone. Yeah, but there is someone actually available. I would like to see if the stall becomes activated even though there's no one working in it but only that someone idle could work in it would be interesting to know and by the way we can also reduce the trading post and livestock trading it's also not necessary anymore that we have someone there because we do have now enough livestock i will add another one to the woodcutter because we definitely will need something for winter as this season is coming to an end soon this year I'm just waiting for the weaver workshop now. It should be really close. There it is. And we can also assign someone to that now. As wool is definitely coming in now from the sheepies. Right, there we have it. 15 wool in stock already. And yeah, with that, we have all the types. And as we can see, 36 burrows are right now able to upgrade. We can go ahead now with the first ones and upgrade them to tier 2, even though that's quite expensive. But let's start here. Four timber it costs each. And the second one we should also be able to upgrade right away. There you go. So the closest buildings to the market are going to be upgraded now. And we're going to need a lot of timber. I can see that already. <laughs> For all these upgrades. Let's set the work area once more over here. A bit further away perhaps. 
and then the upgrading already takes place. And there it is, a plot 2 building, looking already more majestic than the other ones, right? Has a proper wooden roof and is taller. I think we cannot house more people in it than before though, right? So there is currently, I think, no real bonus attached to it. And, oh yeah, we can have more plots here. Look at that. Later on then, I think a small bakery, a soap maker, this is looking like an anvil, so a blacksmith perhaps also. And ale maker as well, so I think we can add them different types of it in the future. And there's the second one coming up. Church is ringing its bell. We have a lively city center here now. And there is also coming the third up already. And with that, we have finished comforts and conveniences. So the main quest of the demo, more or less, has been finished with that. We could now, of course, continue building a bigger village. But I think we are fine with that. We have a proper market. We have all the buildings now. We have all the types for my people. We have enough taxes. And that's it. That's the Manor Lords demo a second time on the higher difficulty. Wasn't that much more difficult, actually. Uh, just in the beginning, really. You need to really know the, the work order. But other than that, it's fine. And with these beautiful ultimate impressions, I leave you to it. I hope you enjoyed this second playthrough. And I can't wait for more features and more versions of this game to play for you to show as well with this really, really gorgeous, gorgeous and promising city builder. Stay tuned.